Peel? Are you seriously feeding our prisoners fine meals? Hello, and welcome back to RimWorld. Now, I'm sorry about the hiatus. It's been a couple of days since I posted last. Um, I went on a kind of vacation. And uh, I'm sorry I took time for myself, but that's just the way things are. But now we're back to committing war crimes, and I even left myself a note on what to do for this episode. First and foremost, we are going to be beefing up Arya even more, making her an unstoppable thing. I mean, she's already quite unstoppable, but we're gonna make her even more unstoppable. I mean, we, we do know that nine muffalos can take her down, so we'll have to deal with that. She needs to be able to take on at least 20 before I'm happy. We also have a bunch of anomaly research to go through and figure out, see what we can do with it. I think that would be quite fun to... Yeah, I think this will be quite fun to deal with. Yeah, I want to see what, what exists in here. And so we don't actually just research it and then leave it to the side. I want to... I want to go... Th oh, well, whatever that is, I'll deal with you in a second. I want to go through all of these things, see what is in each and every research tree of Anomaly. As well as some of the more um, modded Anomaly things that we have from Integrated Implants. Speaking of that, we do have Advanced Ghoul Enhancements. What can we do with that? Oh, I've already queued that up. Stalker Skull, Shredder Claw, Metabolic Engine, Ghoul Power Planting, and Deadlife Venom Claw. Seems like we have everything needed to make these. Why aren't you making them? Oh, because Peel's building the floors. Oh. What, what the hell is... Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> entity liberated. McDonald has become suddenly allured by a captive entity and is convinced it must be freed. McDonald? You piece of shit! That's what I've been hearing? Um, um, Arya? Arya, where are you? Oh, you're close. Get that tough spike dealt with. Come on, girl. Come on, sick him, girl. Yeah, one shot and it's down. She's just so damn efficient. Uh, McDonald's? You're a piece of shit. We can't have that. You're... Dude, you're, um... No, I can't have this. McDonald's? Prisoner must be a prisoner. <laughs> okay, we need to capture him and then we can execute him. McDonald, we can't have you going out there releasing entities. So this better be an example to all of you slaves. You got that? It was a spectacular execution. All participating slaves were shaken by the side of death. Their suppression has been raised to its maximum level. And we've got the plague. We're having so many diseases. Actually, Vonril, you're gonna you're gonna need some someone gonna get on that. 51% quality. Is it enough? Is it not is it gonna uh, it looks like it's it's catching up. It's catching up. Woo! Ah. Yeah, he'll be he'll be fine. He'll it'll be alright. And Mila has got the plague too. You're actually one of our good miners, so we don't want you to die. There we go, 59% tend. And Peel is making some of those new fun ghoul enhancements. Now in case of a slave rebellion, I've put down these syringe sentry turrets so that if they go butt wild in here, they will just be shot by an aesthetic and go down and hopefully not die. Clob! Clob, who told you you could go out here and drink alcohol? Clob, you do not have the authority to just go in here and drink beer. Peel? Actually, calm him down. Nuh-uh. Nah, no, this, this requires more advanced. Use the drill on him. Down you go. There we go. Clob, let this be a reminder for the next time you want to drink beer. Just don't. Peel drilled away his nose. Fucking hell, that's brutal. By the way, for anyone watching on a mobile, I hope this is a bit better for you. I made the UI a bit bigger so that you can read things a little easier. Um, yeah. You're welcome. Hopefully. Mechanator Trader, you say? Aim. Oh, that's right. Amy died. No, Amy's- I for Amy's dead! No! Oh, for fuck's sake. That's- Oh, no. Amy. Oh, God. No. 
Amy's dead. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm not going to go out of my way to resurrect her, but if we find a resurrector max serum, I will bring her back. Are you still feeding them fine meals? Oh. Okay, let's see here. No, -uh, I can't. No, I won't allow this. All you will be eating is pemmican. How about that? Prison food. There we go. You know what happened to the last person who came in here and drank beer, right? That's what happened. You you have no human rights, okay? You do not have the freedom to drink beer, okay? I will not allow it. You're here to mine resources. That's your purpose in life. Oh, the pit rumbles again. Oh shit, and the Nokia sphere is gonna go ballistic because we can't suppress it anymore. Arya, this is yours. We know you can deal with this quite well. She can deal with flesh beasts so easily. Yeah, they, they got nothing on her. They're so squishy. Yeah, and I've dealt with. Perfect. To be able to deal with our colonists and our slaves a bit easier, we have the slave bar mod. So we can just toggle through our colonists, our slaves, our prisoners, and our ghouls. So they're all in their own tabs, which is quite nice. All right, we've made all of the advanced ghoul enhancements, so... Where should we... D we need to build a hospital, don't you think? How about right here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, you're, you're gonna die. I, actually, I think this is a perfect time for us to bring out the Nokia Sphere as well. Because we've got the imps, eight of them, and they are going to awaken these mechanoids immediately. And I think this is a perfect time to send the Nokia Sphere out. So get... Send the Nokia Sphere down right there. And then whole ass. Get this happening. Oh, these... Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, hopefully it will be distracted by the mechanoids long enough. It'll be... No, no, okay, shit. It's going up for our turret. Please go downward. No, don't go up. Go to the mechanoids. What are you doing? Oh, fuck. Uh, everybody, make sure you're... Like, go as far away as you can. Damn. It's gonna be going berserk for 45 more seconds. No, no. Okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. Clean sweeper's dead. Oh, God. God, I hate this thing. Okay, we only lost a lifter and a clean sweeper. It's, it's okay. We'll be fine. Okay, now we got a bunch of awakened mechanoids done here. They are going to be great for defense, as long as we just don't get too close to them. Owen got mutated by the obelisk. Got a... Oh, he's got two flesh mass lungs right now. So what you're essentially telling me is that Owen's got two <laughs> flesh beasts inside of him. A grand slave escape? I don't think so. Let's see how our defenses work. Oh, so you're not doing anything. Well, I guess it's Arya's job then. Arya, please just don't kill any of them. <laughs> oh well. For fuck's sake, Arya. <laughs> um, I guess that's kind of what happens when you have a a fierce ghoul as as a as a warden. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? You're having a lot of fun. Okay, so all of our great mining slaves are dead? For fuck's sake. Why didn't these shoot? Do you need a mod for that? Seriously? Alright, let's see what we can store on Arya Adler. Can install a metabolic engine and stalker skull, but we do have... Wait, one, two... Hmm, we can't install the ghoul power plating. I wonder if that's because she already has the ghoul plating. So, let us remove... How do we do that? Scrap the ghoul plating. And then the other things, the venom claw. Oh, okay, it installs in the hand, and she doesn't have hands. So... Hmm. Okay, we need to find a way to get Arya her regular vanilla Rimworld arms back, so that we then can put some weird things in her hands. I don't really know how we're gonna do that, but we'll find a way. In the meantime, we will install the metabolic engine and the stalker skull, as well as the other ghoul plating once that previous one has been removed. Vonril, 
Can you please get on that? That would be very helpful. There we go. The ghoul plating is removed. And then we should be... Yes, ghoul power plating. Oh my... What is that? Oh my god. She looks amazing. Although we can't see her beautiful, beautiful face anymore. Okay, so she has a metabolic engine. Okay. Her hunger rate is up. Her movement speed is up a bit too. Her melee cooldown is even lower. The biofared helmet has been surgically attached to this ghoul. My god, she looks amazing. God, that looks sick. Although I really do miss her face already. I feel like that's one of the things that just made Arya Arya, you know? Huh, it does say that it's irremovable. Some find its lifeless mechanical lens less unsettling than the twisted ghoulified face of someone they once knew. Okay, so they don't actually look as awful to other people. Uh, let's leave her with the stalker skull for now. We'll, we'll leave her as is. She does look pretty darn sick right now. Now we need to figure out a way to get her regular arms back so we then can put horrifying, horrifying ghoul implus in her hands. I do think there is a mod for that. Yeah, there we go. Organ cultivation from yet another prosthetics expansion mod. We're gonna put that there and uh, I think we're not... Oh, oh god. Oh no, oh, oh. Yeah, I forgot about me be doing the UI bigger. I forgot we have this tech print for advanced bionics and it does have advanced bionic drill arms. I have no idea what all of these numbers mean, but um, Von Real, learn what's on that tech print. There we go. There we go. What? Advanced bionics. And then we slide that down to there. Hang on. I just realized we've got Von Real's weird brother here who has a double passion in mining. He's a groundbreaker. So once we have everything we need to make a weird, horrifying, six-armed drill monster man, then he will be allowed to be set free and spend the rest of eternity mining in a quarry. Yay. We have a quest for wardening, warden for hire, and we can get a psychic attuner. It can help with increasing, decreasing psychic sensitivity as well as a psychic heatsink. I think we're gonna do that. Three prisoners. They're all anesthetized. Got a Mechanitor Trader coming by, and they have some... Uh, well, they do have components. They do have steel, so we're gonna buy that. Uh, let's buy the advanced components, the regular components. You know what? Let's buy a high subcore and a standard subcore, and then sell them. We got so much uranium from processing all of those chunks. So let's keep about... Two, three hundred uranium. Sell them a bunch of gold. Actually, we don't need to buy components. We we can make those ourselves. We can also make the advanced components. It's fine. We are selling them some uranium and gold. Buying two standard subcores, a high subcore, some steel, and I think we will buy. Oh, actually, we can't buy that composite arm. It's way too expensive. We will buy this multi-tool arm and a worker corpus. Right, we are putting a worker corpus and a multi-tool arm on the agri hand, so it should be getting... Let's see, global work speed is 50% right now. There we go, and with the worker corpus and a multi-tool arm, up to 125%. As well as getting more manipulation from the multi-tool arm, as well as being overclocked, which in turn increases manipulation. So, you should be a lot quicker at tending to our crops, which is always a good thing. Look at it go! Woo! That's a quite a big increase, actually. From 50% to 125, that's... that's really good. That's... yeah, I'm happy with that. The obelisk is activating. It swells with grisly energy as the air crackles around it. It is about to self-destruct in a great explosion, but before it does, it will use its hideous transformation power on any creature it can detect. Oh, we haven't been suppressing it okay what is happening oh, okay it turned everything on the map into flesh beasts luckily they are very squishy they did take care of the one of the mech clusters oh and look we got a shard from it that's nice i'm just really happy none of us got really badly mutated all right we've researched organ cultivation and we need to make adaptive tissue from organic slurry. How do we make organic slurry? It is not in the biofuel refinery. Hmm. 
it's not the stove, right? No, that doesn't seem right. Uh, organic slurry. What, how, how, would, how would we go about making that? It's not the fabrication table, is it? Organic slurry, organic slurry. How the... How do we, how do we make that? Oh, a drug lab. That makes sense. Um, okay. There we go. Make... Oh my god, we can use twisted meat to make organic slurry. And we have so much of it. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Uh, make organic slurry until um, we have 100, maybe? That makes... Sure, sure that's good. Uh, Von Riel, I feel like that's a task for you, my man. And let's make it be entirely out of twisted meat. Perfect. Git is putting the slurry in. How much did that use? Oh, okay, just five. Okay, so it produces... Okay, we use five organic slurry to do whatever it is we're doing. So maybe we need to put down a few more of these organ cultivation vats. Yeah, it takes 10 days to process one of those. Uh, we're gonna need some more resources for this. Oh, and the pit is rumbling again. And uh, I think this is a perfect opportunity to try out Arya's newfound abilities. Arya, come up here. She's a lot faster than she was before. All right, she's standing at the ready. Search and destroy. Come on, get him. This is a piece of cake for you, Arya. She hasn't take- oh, there we go. Starting to get bruised, but nothing more. Result in spo- oh, what the hell? Uh, we'll deal with that in a second. Yeah, she's, um, stronger than ever. Holy- ah, oh, god, you're so amazing. Ah! Oh, did he- look at her- look at her eyebrows. Look at her eyebrows. Not drafted. Ready for war. Calm, cute, Urgh, killing machine. <laughs> You go about your business, Arya. I don't know what was went rotten. I would assume we are using too much power to be able to maintain these organ cultivation vats. Uh, I hope that's what it was. I have no idea what else it could be. For the time being, let's conserve some of our power, shall we? Now, our power grid is l seriously lacking here. Because uh, we are expanding quite rapidly. I think it's time to go Helixian power, don't you? So this is one of the greatest mods for this game that I personally think, at least. Oh no. Oh no, not again. No, please, God, no. Something from below. It's a flesh mass heart, isn't it? Not again. Uh... Someone go and build just I'm gonna cheese this a bit because I can't I don't want to deal with that oh, for fuck's sake It's another flesh mass heart, isn't it? The the mechanoids are dealing with it a bit. Oh god. This is gonna be rough, isn't it? Well, at least the mechanoids are dealt with but um, okay We got the door blocked off so it should be fine Regarding that god it just expands so rapidly doesn't it well von real Actually, no. You know what? We're, we're not gonna about this. As far as as far as I'm concerned, this doesn't exist. It's not here. I'm compartmentalizing and moving on and dealing with this another time, okay? As I was saying, we need to sort out our power issues. And I think one of the greatest mods for this game is the Helixian Gas Expanded. So what we do is we build a Helixian Pump over an Helixian Gas Geyser. Geyser? Old geysers? We mine out this here mountain a bit. Then we build some gas tanks, which essentially acts like batteries. And we put down some generators that are powered from the gas. And of course some gas pipes as well. So we just do that. Pipe everything in like that. So there we go. Helixium pump connected to some gas tanks. Then pumped into industrial gas power generators, which gives us 3600 watts. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. We're just gonna build two of them for now, but that should stabilize our power grid quite a lot, so we don't need to worry about that for a while. Unfortunately, our prisoners Connor and Avila died from malnutrition because someone forgot to cook pemmican. Git, I'm looking at you. But I have managed to rectify that by making sure that we can make pemmican with the meat of anomalies. So one of the prisoners from the quest uh, Kristen dreamt about solitary confinement, and, um, uh, Kristen, this is not a dream. This is your reality now. 
You're in this room. All you can do is stare into the ceiling. Th this is your life. Oh, a muffalo self-tamed. Oh, how lovely. You're not at all... Horribly, horribly going to starve. Right, we are getting our first organic slurry very soon. We'll see if that's enough to put a new arm on uh, Arya. Okay, Git, go and take that out. Uh, adaptive tissue 5. Reform arm. How um, 24. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. 2 medicine, 24 adaptive tissue for an arm. We have 5. So with these in... In nine days! And that's just one arm! Oh, for God's sakes. Um, few more organ cultivators, please. Oh, we're, we're not gonna have enough Nutramin, are we? We've got 90. These take 25 to build, so we can build three more. Well, okay. Tiberius wants to marry Farquad. If you accept the chosen colonists, will leave your faction to marry with Tib. No! I want Farquad. I can't let him go. I mean, he is a handsome devil, isn't he? I understand why you want to marry him, but no, we just can't. We can't. And our muffalo is starving to death out here. We, we can't- we can't help it. I, I don't want to do this again. Not right now. It's not going anywhere. It'll be fine. I just want to give Arya the things that she deserves. Okay? That's all I want to do. Remo Linus, a yeoman of the White Empire, wants to stay at Winkler for nine days with one court ally. Some goodwill with them would get us so we can buy tech prints from them? Sure, let's let's do that. Linus and Akinatus. Do, will any of you do any work? No, you will not. Actually, maybe they will. They actually will. <laughs> How do you feel about mining in the quarry, guys? Well, Linus and Akinatus. Oh god, you have a very cool sword on your back. Biocoded plasma sword. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna put you to mine. That's all you're gonna be doing, quarry, and uh, drink a lot of beer. Actually, do they? Will they do drugs in there? Oh, oh my! How are we gonna keep them happy if they won't do drugs? And you're a pes pessimist. Uh, okay, okay, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Okay, they'll they'll be alright. They'll be fine. We're just gonna, um, you know what? Just put them in the mine. It's free workers. I'm not gonna complain too much. And a solar flare. So. Well, fuck. Solar flares or organic slurry just rotted away. Yay! Video games! And a psychic ship. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm just... I just... Okay, I'm just... Arya, just go here. Arya, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Is this, is this what I want to do? Sit in front of a computer trying to do things? And then have the computer make it so that the things can't happen? And then I sit and get angry because the things aren't going the way I want them to go. Is this- is this my life? Is this what I'm signing up for? Thanks, Arya. You do make it all worth it. I really appreciate it. Alright, I just came back from letting the game run for a while and... Seems like we have a Shambler Assault. Twelve Shamblers. There's been some other things that happened, we'll- we'll look at that after we deal with the Shamblers. You should all probably just kind of get ready here. Arya and Vonriel, you take the front lines as always. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly open the Palisade Gate. There we go. Hold that open. You three take charge. Are they just... I mean, I know you're undead and all, but you're just plain stupid. There we go, now they're attacking. They're just- they're just attacking our walls! My be- not the clean sweeper. What are you doing? For God's sakes. Oh god, one of the- Oh my god, things are- First nothing happens for a long time and now everything's happening at the same time. Arya, you deal with the shamblers, okay? Just go ham. Go crazy. Okay, we dealt with the shamblers. It's fine. The shuttle arrived to get our prisoners from the prison. And uh, one of them went berserk and destroyed both our clean sweeper and our constructoid. Yeah, uh, we just gotta get them to calm down and then take them to the prison transport and get them the hell out of here. Will you just chill out, bro? There we go, we can put them in the shuttle now. Go away and never come back. Okay, quest completed and we got 63 uranium and a psychic attuner, which... I wanted to make Amy our psychic person, but... I, sh I need to let her go. She's dead. She's... Uh, <sighs> 
God, Amy, I miss you. Oh my god, I spent all that time away and I forgot to initiate the fucking adaptive slurry thing. We could have had a new arm for Arya all this time. Let us throw a nerd party. Look at him go. Just... Boring. I, I don't understand. How can it be boring hotboxing next to a fucking void monolith? You people are weird. You're very strange. Okay, this is new. This one's new. Devourer attack. Uh, I haven't seen one of you before, so I think we're gonna actually take a step back there. And, uh, Farquaad, Owen, Von Riel, you get out here. New research available. Hopefully we can take it alive. Seems to be quite well armored. We've given it permanent brain damage, which I'm very happy about. Uh, Von Riel, be careful, patch it up just so it doesn't bleed to death. Okay, there we go. Then, uh, capture and put it right there. Here we go, get it tended. What are you, a devourer? A massive monster with a gaping toothed maw and a stubby snake-like body. The devourer can leap several times its body length to swallow a person whole. Powerful stomach acids rapidly digest the still living victim. The remains are regurgitated soon after. Hmm. And it did say we got some new research. What was that? Uh, where was it? Where was it? Was it under LTS anomaly? Hyper alk ar well, hyper alkalic. How do you? Oh God. Hyper alkalic. Hyper alkalic archites. Modify the hark. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Modify the hyper alkalic archites lining a devourer's stomach so that they can be implanted in a human, protecting them. From oh, acid resistance. Okay, so if we put that on someone, and then... Then these flesh mass spitters won't be an issue. They'll... Because all they do is spit acid. Oh, that's perfect! Hell yeah. While I was away, just letting things happen in the background, I had Peel craft a few things. She's made some advanced bionic arms, bionic spine, heart, kidney. She's in the process of making a liver. Because I think it is time for Von Riel to crack open a cold one with his bro. There he is. Von Riel, Von Vimes, and Von... You know what? We're gonna... We're just gonna... This is so strange. We're just gonna capture Von there. Put him in the medical bed. Now, he has a bad back. He's got some burns. And he's got an infection. But uh, right now, he doesn't really need to worry too much about any of that. Von Riel, go and take his, his arm off. Cure him from that infection. And uh, now we're just gonna do a bunch of war crimes on him. Von here. He's, um, it's a very weird story here. I'm not really sure how he came to be. I would assume it's some weird, some weird interaction with character editor, maybe. I'm not sure. But the good thing is that he is a groundbreaker and he has a double passion in mining. So we are going to put now uh, just a bunch of different bionics on him. Now with a beautiful mod called Evolve Organs Redux. We can actually install more than just two arms on someone. So I've queued up six advanced bionic arms just to make Von Riel just insane. Just a great, 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 great miner. Alright, so we put a subduer in. An implant that contains neuronal network. Does that like... What does it do? Oh, it just lowers consciousness? I don't want that. Uh, remove that. The suppressor, on the other hand, an implant that contains a speaker with set of pre-recorded intimidating speech. Now that's interesting and horrifying. All right, there we go. Von Riel, Von Vimes, six advanced bionic arms, an advanced bionic spine, bionic liver and kidneys, just to make sure that his, his uh, immunity gain speed is a bit higher so he doesn't die of an infection or anything. And then to top it all off, I gave him just some regular prosthetic legs so he can't really walk too fast. His walking speed is still pretty good though. You know what, we're going to give you a peg leg as well, just so you can't run around too quickly. Alright, the anesthetics and everything have worn off from Von. So, I just want to see... Manipulation is 225. 
And even with a peg leg and a prosthetic leg, his movement speed is 147. <laughs> Chimera's approach? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Chimera's, they look freaking horrifying. Let us see how, uh, how we fare against this. And we did have the, these attack before, but... Uh, we, sadly, we killed them instead of being able to research them. There we go, Chimeras are attacking and they're fast as fuck, boy. Is everyone ready? Come on, hurry, 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 hurry! Okay, Arya, get out there. Oh shit, what is that? Rage speed, oh that's scary. Arya, ghoul frenzy, get him. One is dead. Oh, they all died. Oh, damn it. That sucks. Okay, Von's will has been broken, so the next interaction he should become enslaved. And there we go. Vonril has been enslaved. Alright, let us see then. How efficient is Von at mining? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And bear in mind, as he gains more skill, he's just gonna grow exponentially in how fast he mines. And we can also change all of these arms to be drill arms. Which will make him just... He's gonna be the only miner we ever need. So yeah, Vondrill, this is, this is your life now. And we have also made sure that with the brain shocker that we put into him, we can do this. And he's stunned. He goes into brain shock for I don't know how long, but for a little while at least. And there we go. So if he tries to escape, if he tries to do anything stupid, we can just, just kind of put him on standby for a while and uh, everything will be good as new. So yeah, welcome to the party, pal. This is all you're going to be doing now. Arya suggests doing a little binge party. Arya suggests doing a little binge party. What the fuck has happened to you? How, how in the world? I mean, I accidentally... <laughs> sadly, accidentally interrupted it, but what the hell? Oh, Von decided to go on an insulting spree, did you? Wait, what? Why can't we... we can't do the thing on him? Oh, what the hell? Uh... Okay, I thought that's a bit strange. Aren't we supposed to be able to... See, Von, I don't understand how you are able to just... You shouldn't... No, this is not okay. Luckily, you are actually a great miner. That's the only thing keeping you alive right now. There we go. We've given him an electric collar instead. And we can press here and click sap. Just sapping his neck. I'm worried he's actually going to die. Uh, yeah, that might not be the best thing. Kind of worried he's gonna explode at any point. Okay, for science. There we go. Sap until he's... Okay, so you sap the neck very gently until he goes down. I can get behind that. Now, it's been so calm for a while now, so we're just gonna do a little void provocation and hope that we don't die. Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? That being said, I have put down a bunch of defenses, uh, a bunch of sentry- Oh, what the hell was that? A bunch of sentry syringe turrets. Blood rain. Drops of thick blood-like fluid has, have begun falling from the sky. Anyone exposed feels a growing anger which strengthens melee attacks but will eventually become a, a berserk rage. Oh. Exposed animals will eventually become manhunters. The intensity of the effects varies between individual depending on their trait, psychic sensitivity, and random individual factors. Yeah, I think we're just gonna stay indoors. Let's put up an, an area, just just do that, and uh, there we go, everyone just stay indoors, and it'll be fine. You now have enough knowledge of dark phenomena to fully awaken the void monolith, opening a two-way conduit to the void. 
Be warned, once you begin awakening the Void Monolith, there is no going back. The process will shroud the region in unnatural darkness and manifest waves of horrifying entities. Make sure your colony is well lit and well prepared. Okay, so at least deal with this first is what you're saying, huh? We also got new research. Bloodren and ne Neurosis Pulse? Perform a psychic ritual that makes everyone in the region work faster but become more irritable. Mm, okay, okay, I can get behind that. We can also summon... We can also research blood rain to make people go wild. We have a black hive attacking, but... With this defense and... Uh, paired with... With Arya, as well as this defense, I'm just... I'm just not scared. I just... I just have no scare anymore. That's a weird way of saying that. I have no scare anymore. I'm just not afraid anymore. I think I'm go- And honestly, I think I'm growing a bit complacent. I'm just- I'm just like, eh, whatever, it's a- There's a- Black hive and there's a- Thing, you know- So you know what? You know what? You know what? We're gonna do this then. Where is it? How do you- There we go. There we go. Threat scale. There we go. See? There, yeah, that, that's good. So yeah, you know what? We're gonna put it on Randy Random. We're gonna increase the, the... Yeah, so now... Now, um... Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Really badly. But, um... I'd rather have that than what's... Like... Nothing's happening. Nothing's going on. And look at that. A corrupted obelisk. Oh. Wait, I think this is new. Yeah, it is. Twisted obelisk, corrupted obelisk. Okay. 